Freezing patients after they die so that one day they may live again. Fox's Jackie Ivanez has more. Inside these aluminum tanks of liquid nitrogen are the bodies and heads of roughly 200 people. The canisters are housed at an Alcor Life Extension Foundation's facility in Scottsdale, Arizona, where the patients inside, many of whom passed away from terminal illnesses, are preserving their bodies for the future. Instead of just disposing of the patient, uh, give them to us, we're going to stabilize them, stop them getting worse, and hold them for as long as it takes for technology to catch up and allow them to come back to life. In order to be cryogenically frozen, a person must first be declared legally dead. But biologically, Alicor officials say a person's organs and body can be saved almost indefinitely. Dying is a process, and cryonics stops that process. Using a medical dummy, officials show how an ice bath, mechanical CPR device, and a respirator cool down a patient's body. Various medications are also used to prevent cells from damaging over time. Patients are then wrapped in what's referred to as a sleeping bag before placed inside their tank. Once that's happened, the body becomes a true solid and absolutely nothing is happening in the body.